Hey guys, <clears throat> so I'm back for a summer night tutorial. You can use this look during the day, but I have used it at night and I love it. So um, if you saw my last video, it was for the cover girl in LA to win one rehab. So I already have that on my face. I already have, um, I primed my face with the Monistat primer. So what I usually do next is I go in with concealer. You can use whatever concealer you want. Um, if I'm going for like a fancy night out on the town, I use the MAC Prep and Prime for, I think it's in Light Boost. Yes, Light, light Boost. But since I'm doing just, you know, a YouTube tutorial, I'm going to be using the Moria, I think this is Moria, no, Maybelline Dream Moaming. And this color is in Nude. So, I'll be putting that on my face. So, I don't bring it all the way down my nose because I have a pudgy nose right here, so I don't want to bring emphasis to it. I get to the next step I take now since I'm I will I would say I would be going out I take a very dark <clears throat> foundation I literally had this foundation for a while now and I haven't even made a dent in it and I'm probably gonna have to replace it soon because makeup does go get old so I take it and I contour with it Hair is good. So you can go on the top of your forehead. You don't have to worry about blending crazy right now because you're going to be blending it in anyway. And do not forget your jawline. So if you want to contour your nose. Okay, so now I'm just going to be taking the Max Pro Longwear Concealer, and my color is NW20. It's such a light pump you're going to take. It's hard to take a light pump because it's like, it just comes out. So I'm going to pat it under here so you're under, it doesn't crease on you. Cause that, and whatever you have left, you can just put on your eyes. That's what I usually do. Okay. So now you're going to be taking a damp beauty sponge and blend. Okay. So now that all of that is blended. I'm going to be taking Max Studio Fix. Is this Studio Fix? Yeah, Max Studio Fix. And my color is NC NC. NW25. Set all of that. I usually go back in with the darker powder to just do my temples. Just so everything could be looking even. And the bottom. And I'm going to be going over the contour with the same. This is called uh, L'Oreal True Match Powder, and this is in a deeper, way deeper shade than I am. This is in Sable, Soft Sable. And I use this a lot to contour. I just want to have a bolder contour, which we will blend in again. Blush. 
blush. I'm using Milani's Baked Blush in Red Vino. Such a red and pretty color. It's like mixed in with some gold, um, some gold, like, kind of like a gold tint, like has sparklies in it. Take your regular blush brush and put your blush on. I take my favorite, I don't know why this is my favorite. This brush is so old and I refuse to get rid of it. It just blends unbelievably to my cheeks. I don't know. It blends everything together. I really don't want to let the red blend that much. I just want my contour to be blended with it. I kind of want my red, my red um, brush and contour to stand out like this. So that's where I'm gonna leave it. So very quickly, I'm just gonna go over my eyebrows. I really don't do much to my eyebrows because I finally have them in the shape that I want. So for my eyes, I'm gonna be taking Painterly from MAC. I'm gonna let on my eyelid. So, oh, I almost forgot. Highlight. So, um, I got a couple of questions on what highlighted, what highlight I used on my Instagram video. So, I, I'm gonna give you the one, the one highlight I used because Whisper of Guilt is not available anymore. So, this is Salt and Gentle. I take a fan brush. I take a fan brush and go right above my blush. This highlight itself is amazing. See this highlight? Can you say amazing? Oh my, I love it. Okay. So, next is your eyeballs. This is a naked so, palette. You can take this one. Or the naked two, you're taking naked and going in your crease. Then you're going to be taking um, half baked, which everyone knows that color is that one in the naked palette. And you're going to be putting it on the first half of your lid. Pack that, pack that on. I like to pack a lot of it on. Okay, so then you're going to be taking a different shade of brush and using Milani's Baked Eyeshadow, and this color is in I Heart You. It is a red eyeshadow, which is amazing, by the way. Take another flat shader brush, dust it off, and you're going to be taking it to the other half of your lid. Okay, so you're gonna go back with the shader brush you used for the half baked. And if you want, you can take a little more product. I'm just taking a little bit. And just make sure it looks blended like that. Okay, you're gonna go back in now with Buck from the Naked Palette or any dark brown you have or soft brown you have. Be taking any shade of brush and going in with virgin for my brow bone. And then you just want to blend it so there's no lines. Okay, so your eye is done with that. I'm taking Maybelline's Eye Studio. And I don't know what color this is. Black is black. And you're going to be doing, I will be doing a cat eye. Your eye is done. Well, this eye is almost done. Um, <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to put, um, I want to align my bottom 
lash line. Not my borderline, my lash line. Okay, so I lined my bottom line, but I also now want to line my borderline. So, where did I put it? Okay, so I'll be taking Maybelline's Master Studio eyeliner, and this color is in Midnight Master. Okay. Now, you can totally put false lashes on if you want. I am not going to do it because I'm home right now. Where am I going? But, um, definitely you should add something like sparkly and glittering. So, I'm going to be using, um, Luminous Million Diamonds. This is by, I'm guessing, more. I'm going to do my other eye. And then I'll come back. So now that we're all caught up, I did my other eye. Um, now it's just like a few more steps. So the first thing, well almost the last thing to do is what I usually do is I take the Physician's Formula and I think this is this little pretty one. I don't know, it's supposed to have pheromones in it, I don't know. But it gives you like such a warm, like just a pretty glow. So I just take it and I dust it everywhere except for where I put my highlighter. So last thing is your lip liner. I'm going to be using uh, Motives Cosmetics by Laura Reidinger. It's in neutral. It's a lip liner. If you guys haven't checked out Motives, go check it out. They have the creamiest lip liners ever in life. I don't know about it's so creamy it's like oh, it's just so creamy okay so for like a summer night look you can stay matte if you want but I'm going to be taking um, the Bonnie Bell lip lights and this is I think in I think this is strawberry parfait. Yeah. So. Now I am not one for glossy lips, but in the summer, for a nighttime look, like if any of you guys live in New York, or you know, I'm sure everybody where you guys live have like little park, not park, yeah, like parks or marinas. Like New York has a seaport. It's so pretty to go and like go on a date and hang out. So, yeah, this look is finished. This is my summertime night look. I hope you guys like it. Um, all products will be listed below because since I have them all in front of me, it's going to be way easy for me to um, list them. So, usually on a summer night, I would wear my hair straight since my fiance likes it straight. And I've been getting a lot of compliments being that it's straight, but my heart belongs with my hair curly. Even though it's not naturally curly, but whatever. We, can, we could always, you know, imagine. But yeah, so this is my nighttime look. I hope you guys enjoy. And hopefully you guys use this look to go out too and enjoy. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment on this video. And also, guys, go into my giveaway. It's going to be ending on Tuesday, right? Tuesday. Tuesday. Go enter. You're going to miss out. Um, I'll be I'll be announcing the winner Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon. So get your last-minute entries in, and I will talk to you in the next video.